Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? <laughs> Guess he didn't see that coming. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Had about enough of you and your eyebrow. Who wrote this, a two-year-old? <laughs> oh, don't give me that smug face, Ben Affleck. Where's my real ending here? That right there was freaking luck. His dad's his weakness right there. Shiku Haruka to the face. Oh, go! go, baby. Woo! <laughs> what is up, my peeps? Welcome back to the Persona 5 Royal Playthrough. I am your host, of course, Mr. Spinoza X. And in the last episode, the Phantom Thieves helps Futaba with her social anxiety and prepared for a beach trip and everything like that and everything went well in today's episode we're gonna be um if given a chance during after school we'll definitely go down to mementos and everything like that so yes we haven't really been given a chance because we pretty much you know just been busy with you know getting food toddler to open up to freaking right. society and everything like that so yeah but everything went well so yeah Futaba, what's wrong? It's not like you come here this late. <laughs> Look, Sojiro. Uncle's bank info, transaction history, credit details. I've got tons of dirt on him. How'd you get your hands on this stuff? Hacking, of course. Uncle's in load of debt. He'll never win a suit uh, suit against us now that we have all this data. This is a criminal offense, you idiot. There's no way we'd be able to use this stuff in court. But... Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not going to try to take custody back, so don't go going stupid crap like this, okay? But Sojiro, I I only didn't did it because of all that stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking when push comes to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So, you know, maybe there's somewhere better for you out there. S somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I just in the way? No, that that's not it. You don't want me either, Sojiro? That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better f for your own sake. Fine. I still have ESP and Mona and all the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee beans. She's like you guys way more than she likes me. She likes you guys way more than she likes me. Makes sense though. You're the ones who saved her after all. Where did I go wrong? I really did try to care for Futaba. Look where that got me though. I told myself I was she was the reason I kept making Wakabus curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and the curry people love so much are both just are both just excuses. That might yeah, I mean, I spent more time in this cafe than I ever did trying to talk to Futaba. I'm going to go out for a smoke. I'll try to cool off a, a bit. Sorry to lay this on you, but can you go after Futaba for me? 
I should head upstairs. ESP. You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Not. You know, Mom used to talk about Sojiro tons when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to. I remember everything. I remember she smiled when she talked about him. Mom really liked Sojiro. I said some real mean stuff tonight. That's not his fault, Mom, since it's not his fault Mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I was shut myself away from society. And because of me, Sojiro lost a crap ton of money. I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him if my hacking worked. I think you should tell him that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Futaba, um, can I come in? Mm-hmm. So you're, I, look, I'm sorry about what I just said, just said just now. And well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here forever. Forever? I know it might be more fun living with people your age like ESP, but I'll do my damnness to see things from your perspective. So... Will you stay with me? Ah. <laughs> Was that supposed to be some kind of proposal? <laughs> hey, quit your laughing. <sighs> You're exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojiro. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So, let's keep living together. Futaba. Sorry for not saying that sooner. Oh, and thanks for taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you sure I'm good, I'm good enough? I wouldn't want anyone else. Heh, <laughs> no hesitation. Don't come complain to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm not gonna let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I might be graceful, but, I might not be graceful, but, and you can stay with me as long as you like, forever if you want. Mm-hmm, I will. Forever. <laughs> I can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, ESP. Ah, it's almost time for the live stream. The director's gonna be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye. I was such a fool. My whole life was taking that easy way out to avoid these kinds of conflicts. I didn't stand up for Wagabo when I knew something was off, and I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you can't fight back against the laws of our society. How should you accept the hand that you're dealt with in life? But those were mere excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I, I wanted so badly. Maybe instead of all the, that coffee crap, I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go, ranting again. But I feel like I managed to put a, put a lot behind Thanks. me today. Thanks for making me realize what's really important in life. I feel like my bond with Sojuro is growing even deeper. And thus, we have reached rank... Seven in the Hero Farm Arcana, no benefits. All right. I'm going home. All right. I better head home too. 
Don't stay up too late, okay? I don't want you oversleeping. And we pretty much ranked up our kindness. Hey, you good to talk? I talked to Fataba again after that. I don't know how it took me so long when we've been so close, but I finally had the honest conversation with her. How do I say this? It feels like we were a real family now, not just pretending to be one. And that's one because you helped us connect, so thanks for that. A real dad, huh? Sounds corny as hell, but I can't deny it. What am I doing? Calling some guy up and rambling about my feelings. Heh. <laughs> but I guess you're not exactly an ordinary guy yourself. Alright, I'm heading, hanging up while I still got some dignity. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, uh, I know this is out of the blue, but, uh... Uh-huh. Like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Uh, sure. Tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Oof. Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. Yeah. Black thing was me? That can't be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? Everything good? Bad dream? Oh, um my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Cats get sunburned? You're thinking that my entire body's covered in fur, aren't you? I've got none on my pads. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird thing? Hmm. That wouldn't bother me. Be bothered by it. If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Stop, yeah. Though. Don't forget what you just said, okay? I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing even deeper. And thus we have reached rank 7 in the Magician Arcana. Thus we got a new ability known as Harrison Recovery. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. Right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. Yep, good night. It'll be fine, right? I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. <laughs> Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I 
can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. Got it. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet, they weren't exactly stellar. Oh boy. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Hmm. Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we've thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Yep, that is true. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Damn. That is crazy. <laughs> Damn. Oof. He doesn't remember. Damn it, Ryuji. Well, I always gotta do that. Put some poor Morgana. Let's see who we can pretty much hang out with. 
Um, guess. Oof. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess we hanged out with Sojuro the last time, so I guess it's time to hang out with. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, I guess. Hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if you don't, if it's not good enough. Hey, you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worried about me, Lala-chan? You're usually kind of... <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. <laughs> uh, having trouble at work? Oh, you're sharp, kid. Trust is, um, my quota got doubled. Truth is, my quota got doubled. It's gonna take like Four times as much work to get that much done, though. You're shackling me down, so I won't have to time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Yep, I bet he probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this. I was just starting to feel like a real journalist. The rush of investigating Kyle's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away in our corrupt society. But now, I'm gonna be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good, but what am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lalachan, if they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. My incident's over a year, the incident's over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kyle really was a true culprit. Um. <clears throat> Goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, then who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kayo into politics. My fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, can you, you can't blame yourself. Kaioku chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But if I didn't get her involved in the first place... Damn it, that incident is all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. Hell yeah. You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress just must have gotten to me. It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm going to have to put all of my focus on that for now. It'll be counting on you for Phantom Thieves stories, though, as long as you're up for it. And thus, we have reached rank 6 in the Double Arcana. No benefits. All right. I 
think I'm going to have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. Hmm, it's getting late. I'll see you later. Hey kid, thanks for spilling the fan empties earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean generally actually serious, I really appreciate you. It's only, I t I'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you give me on the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, keep it coming. You're seriously dependable, kid. But yeah, for now, just, I'll guess I'll just leave the intel gathering to my partner in crime. I gotta focus on this quota. I'll never give up on my own investigation. Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. Oh yeah, definitely not. You're right. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. <laughs> you seem fired up. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Morgana seems awfully excited. All right, hopefully, hopefully we get a day or not. Maybe not. Hey, we need to talk. Come downstairs. Come downstairs. What's up? What is it? Hey, get ready. We're going out for lunch. Just the three of us. You want me to come? You don't have any plans, right? Just come on. It'll be my treat. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you. I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? Hmm. I think he's demanding sushi. Tell him to bring me along. <laughs> Wait, does it want to come with us or something? I do feel sorry for it though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well. Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and and oh, are you gonna be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. Oh my god. So, how is it? Good? Mmm, delicious! Don't wolf it down like that. It, look, no one's gonna take your food. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Drink some tea. Rooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. <sighs> Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. <sighs> this brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. I thought I was gonna die. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> Which is it? 
<laughs> I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Uh, check, please. Coming right up. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. Me too. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi too. Oh, I want to find out what happened to mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. Definitely. 120,000 yen? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> oh boy. Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Welcome home. I've been waiting for you. Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my inago? So that's why. Yep, yeah, sorry, Morgana. A ramen shop? Um, of course. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? Oh boy. We'd better get over there. Yeah, let's go. All right. this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Where did you come from? Oh boy. Uh, I, uh, uh, hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? Uh, uh, that looks bad. What are you gonna do? Let's help. Yeah, hurry up. Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? Huh? Who are you? Hey! Do you know this girl? Yeah, she's my sister. You're not lying, are you? Very well. Taba, are you okay? Sorry, I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me, and the police came, and then it was all over. Look, Butaba, if you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? Uh, I can't move. You don't have to. Couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Futaba. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. Uh, okay. Sounds good. For reals? <laughs> then it's a deal. I should accompany Fatama when she goes out from now on.
And then the talking cat was just upset because we didn't bring sushi for him. We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the phantom thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Who was doing this? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the hermit persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And thus we have reached, we have gained a new arcana, Futaba Sakura, the Hermit Arcana. Gonna start with rank one, moral support, chance to cast Kaja and party or party healing magic during battle. Exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Got it. Told you from Futaba walked home. Encouraging, but I think, think you might be getting the fame stuck to our heads. Sorry. <clears throat> A new function? Huh? Leave Japan? School trip, what? What school trip? I did not hear about this. Yeah, looks like I can't be getting out, so yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess a uh, train. Oh, you wanna do it? Yep, let's do it. Go ahead and take some protein. You formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a different type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. 
So, what now? Worry not. You are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so, but I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. Nice. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Hone your powers even further and prepare for the time that will soon come. I expect great things from you. And thus we have reached rank 8 in the Full Arcana. Got a new ability, increases your persona stock to 12 slots. Yes. All right. Until we meet again. It is time, inmate. Return to your world. Okay. Hopefully this time. Well, morning. Ooh, a uniform. Yep. Gotta go back to school. Summer sure vacation's over on. officially. Futaba says she's going to shift to living a morning person's life. A healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Mission. And on to breaking news. In regard to the so-called Phantom Thieves events that have been a hot topic among the general public. The Prime Minister held a press conference at his official residence to address the problem. The government acknowledges the current rumors of a group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister is talking about the Phantom Thieves? They're allies of justice, after all. They change hearts, huh? I wonder if it's true. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Mm. Let's just stay calm. Even though you have I know it's a lot to take and everything, but we should yeah, but really focus me. on what we're truly doing this for. We can too, and resolve it ourselves, for Futaba's sake too. You two really get along, don't you? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Good luck on your student duties. <laughs> the age group with the most belief in the Phantom <clears throat> seems to be teenagers. We've even received messages about how the Phantom Thieves are all students talk about these days. Do you know about them? They're the only thing my daughter speaks to me about. She's been glued to this fan site thing. I thought it was just an ordinary website. Lately, they've added a polling feature to ask who you'd like to see have a change of heart. Given people's heightened expectations, it's been receiving Damn, a lot of votes. it's like everybody's just talking about the Phantom Thieves. Damn, it's crazy. President. Change his heart so he'll raise our salaries. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, it's all over. Thieves are great. Second term's already started. Mm -hmm. I think this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? Well, we are busy. I guess it depends on how you look at it. We kind of got to visit Egypt in a way. Yeah, if you say, yeah, that, that kind of is true. Right. <laughs> Let's begin, homeroom. Let's see. We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is this school, school trip. School trip? To where? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you students are so lucky. You get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hawaii? Sure that none of you cut Yo. Too much, okay? Let's go. Okay. okay. I'm actually excited for this home trip, this school trip now. School trip, huh? I guess we won't be able to act as phantom thieves. <laughs> Takamaki san! You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. That's amazing. I 
lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? Mm -hmm. Damn, freaking our phone is buzzing. Trouble. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takasi Kun's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part time job, too, although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to be being a great teacher. No matter what others say, I won't waver. That's good. That That's really good. So, thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Ms. Kawakami, you have guests. The Takasis are here. Oh, shit. They're here? At school? How long are you gonna make us wait? Tch, him again. Uh, you know it, lady. <laughs> We're talking here, by the way. How rude. I guess a student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack proper education. You thought you could just call and say you're not gonna pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know. It's what I decided, for Takesi Kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him who... So, you're just trying to get out of your responsibility. I bet you don't even care about Taki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run and hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue to teach. I've decided that's the best apology I can make to Takasi Kun. Paying money for you two is not the solution, to say the least. Hmm. Long with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone. You know about your little stint as a sex worker. Oh shit. What? what? How did you... Oh, so I'm right, am I? What? I mean... The amount of money you're paying us can't come from just the teacher salary. Well, shall we head on over to the faculty's office? Stop. Please. Huh. Teacher working in the sex industry? You've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you to that you just thought you could just leave Taki's matter unsettled you know what you have to do now right pay up and don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payments <laughs> I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet but you, you you just can't give up you're so determined I know. But what am I supposed to do? What would the Phantom D what about the Phantom D's? Would they even help someone like me? <laughs> Kawakami appears to be deeply hurting. I need to do something for Kawakami. 
Can't do this anymore. What are their names again? Who? The Takasis? His husband's name is Toshio san and his wife is Hiromi san. San. Haha. <laughs> I can never forget them. I send them money all the time. Wait. Why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin student asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you what I had decided. And end up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. Yeah. <laughs> Class is about to start. I need to go. I need to do something about the targets for Kawakami. Yep, the next time we go to Mentos. Definitely taking care of this situation. <laughs> Hopefully. There you guys are. Utaba, did you come here by yourself? I went together since I got out of school early. What a patronizing Inari. Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after another big target? That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. What's mm -hmm. more, they're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But, you know how we're toads popular right now? Everyone at school's talking about us, and not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. We totally made it big, don't you think? True. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy, too. You mean this? Huh? What the hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? Um, I'm definitely putting in the savings. I've never heard of a phantom thief that saves up money. Are you fine with that, Futaba? Even though it's related to what happened to your mother. It's not okay. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our identities then? Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. Whoa, whoa. You want us to show our faces? I guess that might be okay. I see. If the true culprit confesses the existence of the metaverse will become known, there would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Exactly. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. But considering the hype now, it's going to be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off. Breezy really doesn't no get it. Clues regarding those mental shutdown cases, if I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes. I can pry and ask about it. But she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. If you can't ask her, want to just extract that data? Does she have a personal laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? Sis does bring her laptop home sometimes, but I'm not comfortable going that far. Ooh, is Futaba going to do something amazing again? Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No. Of course not. Fine, I'll do it.
What? I was in a tabloid magazine? But I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. Please, wait! Please give me some time! I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure! I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir, so... Please, please let me... Uh, no! No! Got it. Ain't gotta worry. That's not true. Let's leave this to Makoto. I'm sure she'll be able to pull it off. Definitely. Hey, hey. Okay. Before we continue any social type of event, we're going to go ahead and visit Akiharuba. Um, the new area that we have discovered and everything like that. So yeah, this is pretty much like a little shopping district um, and anything um, and stuff. Pretty much known for like electronic stuff and everything. Here we have the velvet room over here. Um, here we have little, um, you know, gotcha machines and everything like that. And we have like a little electronic store over here um, and everything. They could pretty much uh, buy gifts uh, depending on any any of like the confidant your confidants liking and everything like that um, and stuff and then pretty much over here it's pretty much the same thing it's just now you're just talking to pretty much the person over here same thing um, and everything and over here is pretty much um, yeah the gotcha machines that I showed off earlier over here is pretty much a made cafe that you could pretty much go and you know improve on your um, on your charm <clears throat> and everything like that so yeah and then over here is pretty much um, same thing it's like a little like a, a good shop and everything like that and stuff with gifts you could give to your confidants and everything to you know whatever they're liking like the motorbike you could definitely give to the Makoto and everything and stuff and then over here is pretty much a machine repair a uh, machine parts shop and everything like that and if you go over here, you could pretty much um, buy like materials and everything. But there's also this this PC tool set, which I'll show off um, in a bit and everything like that. So yeah. And then over here is pretty much the arcade. More on this much much later um, and stuff because yeah, we're, we're gonna need it um, and everything like that. It's a it's a painted car. Yep. And then over here is pretty much where they sell the video games and everything, the old, the retro games and everything like that and stuff, um, and stuff. Whatever game pretty much improves any of your social stats and everything like that, um, in the description and everything like that. So we're just gonna buy all of them. Yeah, we got money, we got yen to burn and everything. So yeah. All right. So that's pretty much Akiharuba and everything like that. So yes, um, definitely recommend for this uh, to improve on like your. Your, uh, your charm and everything like that, especially with the maid cafe and everything and stuff. And definitely a good spot to like buy gifts, you know, depending on like what your uh, confidants like and everything. So yeah, um, to pretty much improve more on their, um, uh, their, their, their moral for you and everything like that. So yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, help out Sojiro. Hey, Futaba, if I was going to add something to the menu, what would you be? Hmm, maybe curry spaghetti and curry udon. Oh, and curry croquettes and curry pizza. You really like curry that much? 
Well, I guess it'd be pretty easy giving the current menu. I'll give some thought. How about you? Anything you'd want to add to the menu? Um, definitely something with curry. Hook too, huh? Of course he is. That's a super addicting. That stuff super addicting, man. Hi, we haven't answered. Why haven't you answered my calls? Oh shit! Not this guy again. Leave now, or else I'll be forced to contact the police. I'm not giving you a penny. What was that? Quit fucking with me. Stop it. Sordroid didn't do anything wrong. Shut your mouth, brat. It's your fault I'm in this mess. Look, Futaba's my daughter. You have you may be her uncle, but you have no connection to her anymore. We can take it to court if you really want. Don't underestimate how hard I'm willing to fight. What? Not only do you have massive debt, but I heard you failed in your most recent business venture. How do you think the court would respond if they knew how wasteful you were with your money? God damn it. It's all your fault, you bitch. You cursed little. Eee. Step off, dude. Oh. Jesus. He deserves it. Oh. <laughs> this, this is assault. I'll sue. What are you talking about? You clearly fell down on your own. This delinquent attacked me. He's dangerous. This cafe is finished, you hear me? I won't let you get away with this. <sighs> God damn, what a pain in the ass. Don't you have enough problems already? I didn't do anything wrong, dude. I was just protecting Futaba. Nobody said you did anything wrong. To be honest, it should have been me trying to stop him. Are you okay, Futaba? Mm-hmm. But Uncle said he was gonna sue. Don't worry. No matter what ends up happening to me or this door, I won't let a I won't let them lay a finger on you. I'm your guardian after all. I have a duty to protect the both of you. So don't go do anything like that again. You hear? I appreciate the spirit you showed though. I feel like my bond with Sojiro is growing even deeper. And thus we have reached rank 8 in the Herophon Arcana. No benefits. But clearly dude like, you know, did that to himself. Clearly, <laughs> clearly the same situation that we were in too. Anyway, I'm done for today. Let's go, Futaba. Yeah, literally same, like, similar situation. We're Joker, pretty much. Yeah. ESP, I'll message you later. Ooh. Hmm? Ooh. Of course not. Got it. All right. Yeah, sounds good. I understand. You need to take care of Futaba's uncle to help Sojiro. Oh, a catchy. Did you get a tan? You seem different. Oh, yes. Thank you for the coffee last time. It is a lovely cafe. I haven't relaxed that much in a while. 
You should come again. That's nice of you to say. Especially lately, since it seems I'm hated by those who support the Phantom Thieves. Anyhow, Damn. it seems your school's in trouble. The media is reporting that the whole school was involved in the cover-up about that gym teacher. Those unfortunate students were made victims. All because adults valued their own conveniences. This is unforgivable. No matter the reason. Let me know if you need anything. I'll do my best so that the case is wrapped up quickly. Yeah, what's up, Reggie? What ad? The media is gonna come to our school. At least be a little interested in it. Cover up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy, where the Phantom Thieves first appear. It's been a huge deal already. I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now. Anyways, we made the right choice going after big targets. Everywhere I go, people are talking about us. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm fine. That girl just now, don't you think she was fine? The Phantom Thieves are on fire right now, so I wonder if I got a chance if I asked her out? It sucks that I can't just say I'm actually a Phantom Thief to anybody. Did you do it too, Teach? The whole cover-up thing? This is the first time I'm hearing about it, too. Even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Oh, seriously, why does this keep happening? All oh, my relatives are gonna call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So, a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning, and that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Yes, I've been told so. Now, this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? You know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be... unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry, there'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. Listen this time, okay? Oh God. You know, it's been a while since we've seen Dr. Maroki, too. Hey, 
Oh. Uh oh. I feel the murderous intent. Whoop. Oh, too slow. <laughs> I think we finally got some free time, so freaking definitely gonna go to Mentos and everything like that. So yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to. Oh yeah, freaking. <laughs> man, what a coincidence! I'm actually going to Hawaii myself too. Yeah, that's what they're definitely gonna do. Now that we finally got some freaking free time, we finally freaking go to Mementos and everything like that. So yeah, oh man, dude, freaking, I was like, oh my God, there's so much. Okay. When do we get the chance to go to Mementos and everything? They're all, here. all right, we're finally here. Freaking gonna go to Mementos, start doing these requests that freaking we've uh, been holding off and everything like that and stuff so yeah i forgot how, how much we have but we have a lot especially ones that we need to do in order to progress through the other um social stats uh social events for like our the confidants that we have been doing and everything like that and stuff so yeah um but again mementos like definitely recommend it when the first thing you do after pretty much finishing off a palace and doing all these uh, social events with like, you know, building up your confidants and everything like that and stuff. Definitely recommend first thing uh, once, you know, the well. palace ruler has a change of heart. It's definitely the first thing to do when you have the free time after school is definitely, definitely going to Mentos and everything like that. So, yeah, um, and stuff. Uh, but man, oh man, freaking, we finally got the chance to do it and everything. Also, I'm gonna be fast forwarding some parts into it because again, once you go to Mentos, all the rooms are randomized and everything like that. So there's really not a set, uh, like, you know, which way to go and everything like that. So yeah, um, and stuff. So it's gonna fast forward to pretty much like all the, um, when we meet up all, with all the um, requests um, that we gotta do in order to change these people's hearts and everything like that. So yeah. Um, and stuff but man oh man um yeah, definitely freaking wow i just can't believe freaking how much popularity the fan things are getting it's like wow it's crazy but we definitely shouldn't lo lose focus for sure for sure and everything so yeah it, it might be it, it might be exciting and everything like that but yeah we shouldn't lose focus at all and stuff so yeah Mm-hmm. Yep, we freaking got it. We still got a few we gotta identify, but we'll definitely do that later and everything. We're just gonna do the ones that we pretty much are gonna do. So that's about one, two, three, four, five, five today. So yeah, definitely gonna do five um and stuff. Um what was this one for? Oh, okay, this one's like for Central Street. I think this is the one where, uh, where we work at the uh, convenience store and everything like that. I do believe we probably need one more time to work at night, that night and everything. And we should get the info right, on it and stuff. But yeah, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, continue on into Mementos. Hmm? Oh boy. It's a new area. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. It's gotten even bigger. Mm -hmm. This happened because we stole another treasure, right? 
I feel like it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. I don't Definitely. think Mementos' territorial expansion is caused by us stealing a treasure. I bet it's things like the number of searches for phantom thieves, the ranking of trending words, and the access counter on Mishima's website and stuff. Even now, it's slowly expanding. The more we become the topic of conversation, the more memento spreads? Maybe it's the other way around. What do you mean? We're the ones expanding it. Or perhaps Mementos grants further passage as we become more prevalent in the general public's cognition. Like... getting free admission for being popular? That's rather well put. For real? That's amazing! Actually, you're amazing, Futaba! How'd you figure that out? Piece of cake. I didn't know at all. What have I been doing? Sorry, Mona. Alright, let us go onward to Mementos. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Definitely. This is horrible. Damn it. I gambled away all my money. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Where is she? Get over here so I can beat you. Yo, don't beat your girlfriend. What? Don't you dare lecture me. She's mine. I can do whatever I want with her. Beating her is the right the only thing I have. If you want to get in my way, then you're then you shall die. All right, here we go. I do believe this guy's weakness. Punch me as you can, dude. Oh shoot. Uh, my he probably won't. Probably won't have a weakness. Damn, freaking. Yeah, I think he does not have a weakness at all, and everything like that and stuff. Damn. Oh yeah, he's resistant to physical attacks. Let's go ahead and try to put him asleep. There we go. Nice. All right. Cool. Now we could definitely attack him. Nice. All right. You know what time it is. Time for the all-out attack. I know it's definitely not going to finish him off, but still. Oh, never mind. We okay. Freaking, we're almost there. There we go. Now he's had a change of heart. Now, after doing that, I'm pretty sure now we could still con we could continue on with the, uh, the fortune tellers, um, social events, and everything like that. So yeah. This is horrible. I hate it. I hate it when people look at me like I'm. I can do better. I'm a superior human being. All good people around me just don't get it. Oh, a sleep stick. Mm. Yeah, definitely. That's all. <coughs> That's what I was thinking too. Hey. Yeah, let's keep going. We have one more in this this area. Let's go ahead and freaking get to the next one. Ah, I do believe these are the Takashis. The Takasis. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep, let's go. Money, money, money. Hurry and pay us your money. It's your responsibility. <laughs> Clothes, handbags, makeup. There's too many things I want. Who the hell are you? Oh, are you one of those Phantom Thief guys? That's the reason for me to be targeted, though. I don't need to no change of heart. That incompetent teacher is so worthless. She should be grateful to be a source of income for me. She's not worthless, dude. 
Shut up, Kawakami got in my way. I was going to use what happened to my son to get back at people. I'm not gonna lose. I won't lose to Illyllis like you. Huh, how fitting. How freaking fitting. Don't like your attitude. Take him down. Now we're gonna take you guys down. How how fitting that they that they would be these guys. <laughs> how freaking fitting. All right, cool. We freezed her. Let's go ahead and shatter her. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get the baton pass. Hmm. Oh, shoot. let me see here. Um, I think maybe. Let's see, maybe Dark Attacks? No? Well, we defeated it. Uh, Mr. Cassie. Oh no. I'm paralyzed. I think. No, no, not Energy Shower. Okay, now I have to see if I have any here. Um. No. Nope. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, cool. Let's go. Nice. We got him. You, you bastards! They took us down. How dare they do that to Takemi? I mean, to Takemi, to Kawakami. You're looking down on me, too. Deep down, you're laughing at me, aren't you? I wish this would stop. Name brands, aesthetic appointments. About them, people laugh. No one's laughing. We're terrible human beings. Our son, Takei, and his real parents were different. What? His parents were both high level elites at the big name corporations. Always looking at us coldly. That's why I let our son experience what it's like to be forced to grovel. It felt like it felt nice to see him gradually break down from working too so much. You two are terrible. Just terrible. I'm not sure how if his birth parents really looked down on us. I will be I was happy as long as I was with Toshio. But I forgot all about it. Taiki really was a good kid. Terrible parents. I mean, well, terrible. No, I mean, they're really not their parents, but they're just terrible people in general. All right, now that that happened, now we can pretty much talk to Kawakami, see how things are going. Yeah, let's go back since we pretty much finished with that area. Let's go ahead and go to the next area. Oh. Yes. Let us go. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Ah, ah you old guys are the Phantom Thieves. Feel like you have some complaints for me. Stealing credit from your subord subordinates is one of the worst things you can do. That's my way of management. It's efficient. I give the orders and my underlings do all the work. It's a pretty easy job as long as the numbers go up. That idiot president won't say anything. If my underlings have a problem, they should just get prom promoted. But since I evaluate them, how did someone like you ever get promoted? If I were the president, you'd be fired. Shut up, kids. Your reason doesn't apply in the real world. If you don't get it, I'll teach you a lesson as your high and mighty ruler. Oh, 
Yep, let's go. This guy's weakness to uh, like light attacks and everything like that, so definitely can't use that. Um, I do believe I have somebody. Yes, I do. Hold on, I think those are only like um. Oh, medium blast damage. Here we go. I think this should do it. Yes. Yep, I knew it. Definitely. Should definitely finish it off. Yep, that yep, that did it. I'm a victim too. <laughs> My boss from a long time ago used to harass me. I thought I'd be fine if I did the same thing. You should have learned. How stupid. Before long, I started revealing and punishing my subordinates around. I'm sorry. What have I done to my precious subordinates? Made them take responsibility for my mistakes. Sent them far away. Messed up their lives. It's all my fault. All mine. How do you tend to take responsibility for all this? I'll read some business books. I'll try to do what I can. I want you to think carefully about what kind of boss you'd like to work for. Figure it out. Theme Park Escort. Hmm. Last few ones are actually right here at the end. Okay. Yep, there he is. And after that, I'm pretty sure that would open up and everything. We go to the next area and everything. <laughs> ah, so you're the Phantom Thieves. I'm not sure what I you want. It seems like you're trying to use force to get people to leave their property. Land development is important. Getting rid of stubborn people in my way is I'm not playing around like you kids. Quite, we're quite serious. We can't let those who cause problems for others. That includes people like you who want to use bully tactics to get what they want. You're just a pissy smelling kids acting big. You should have stopped playing hero back in preschool. No, oh, I know that. I know that guy's weakness. It's pretty much I do have him as a persona and everything like that. Or maybe his weakness doesn't apply here since it's pretty much a uh, a shadow off of a uh, person. Oh damn, I missed? Oh god, this is bad, this is bad. Ow. Freeze him. Nope. Maybe maybe burn him. No, he was resistant to that. Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let me actually heal up real quick. Uh, yeah, let's heal. Yeah, let's use this one. Oh god. Yeah, I'm stunned. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Fox. Damn, not even going to put him to sleep doesn't work. Damn, freaking dark up. Well, I mean, yeah. This is bad. Hmm. Nope, nope. He's definitely unaffected by it. Hmm. Maybe psychokinesis, maybe? Let's see. Nope, definitely not. I, I guess he doesn't have a weakness, so yeah. Oh well. Or I guess we're just gonna have to try to figure something out real quick and everything. Damn, freaking missing. Yeah, definitely freaking putting him to sleep is no good. Anyway, freaking, we just gotta. Ooh, nice. That was that was definitely nice. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. This would definitely finish him off, right? Excellent. Yep. Whew, that was a bit of a tough one, but we find we, we managed to get it and everything. <laughs> but if they don't give up the land, I'm going to be get fired. Please, there isn't there some way I could have that movie theater? No, give it up. Get out of Youngin. Yeah, stop messing around with our neighborhood. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll give up. So please forgive me. I hope you'll consider the feelings of those who get things taken from them from now on. I'm sorry. I, I got it. I'll be honest with my superiors. I'll tell them that no one has any interest in leaving the Yogan. Now, not just Yogan. You better make up for the awful things you've done elsewhere, too. And thus, we've pretty much finished this area, so I'm pretty sure that part will open up to the next area. And yes, it did. Nice. Definitely. All right, let's go ahead and do this last one. Oh. Mhm. Mm Fumi is my daughter. I am Hifumi's mother. I gave birth to her. I raised her. My child should be devoted. I can finally be happy once Hifumi becomes a famous shogi player. Hifumi isn't yours to use. You're a terrible mother. Hmm. She thinks she rose in the ranks of her own skill, but most of those matches were fixed. Oh god. I'm the one who's been building Hifumi's commercial value. If I didn't get rid of all her rivals, she wouldn't be here, be where she is now. I enlisted private investigators and even criminals to find and even criminals to find their weakness and destroy them. Damn. I paid off anyone who might have complained or spoken out. Oh, and I even sold stories to those weekly magazines, heroines and tragedies. One more step and my vision of Ifumi will be realized. I won't let anyone get in my way.
How fitting. How fitting that she's this succubus. That's not gonna work. <laughs> like right back at you. <laughs> Damn, she's also resistant. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be resistant to fire too. So let's just go ahead and go physical. Hmm. What can I use here? Um. Maybe some instant. Let, let's give it our chance. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. She is weakness to light attacks, though, I figured. But I guess I played too much in Persona 4, uh, per Persona 4 Golden and everything like that, since half of those were pretty much where, like, if you use the weakness, if it's like an instant kill, you could it'll instantly kill them and everything and their weakness, too, and everything. So I thought it would work for this game, but apparently not. So, oh well. But now we know her weakness, so yeah, let's go ahead and um, use that. Now it's time for the outlet attack. No oh, shoot. Freaking Fox got stunned. Damn. Freaking she took my life energy too. Back up. Let's go ahead and do this. We're almost there. Let's see if I can freaking get a uh, fox out of that. Freaking, I need to buy some more. Oh, yeah, I actually do. Okay, never mind. Let's heal up. Probably won't like oh here we go. Nice. Go get him, you two. Nice. That definitely did it. Looks like I'm the one who's finished. Yep, yep, that they, they took care of it. Definitely we uh, Damn, freaking everybody got ranked up. <laughs> But yeah, that def well, we've done our party mementos for now and everything. Well done on your new skill. Ooh, okay. I'm actually gonna increase his, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, use it for that. I'm gonna go ahead and substitute stores medium amount, restores medium amount. For yeah, let's do that for all of us, rather than just one. Ooh, okay. So I recover HP. I was a, always a loser. Even if it, it was just once, I wanted to taste success. I could never win on my own. I had to use Hifumi if I had. I had to use Hifumi. I had to. I never meant to make Hifumi unhappy. But when she won the grade school competition, she started being called a genius girl, and I could never get that on my head. I turned out to be such a horrible mother. I'm sorry, Hifumi. I'm sorry. Alright, that... Now that that's taken care of, I've got to go ahead and check on Hifumi. Oh, 
that pretty much does it for mementos for now um, and everything. Yeah, let's uh for now let's keep going though. We'll be back real quick, guys. Let's go ahead and recover real quick. All right, so pretty much this new area has a total of 12 areas and everything like that. So yeah. But unfortunately, it won't open up. Yeah, we still got to still got to pretty much change more hearts especially for the next palace ruler we have to face off against but for now guess just prepare for the hawaii trip and everything like that so yeah but definitely the next time um and everything will be um, we're almost literally halfway down and everything to pretty much like the last part and everything so yeah, yeah we're almost like halfway down Definitely, dude. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll be back for sure. Oh, did you change your mind? Yep, return to the weird world. Alrighty then, guys. Well, that pretty much does it for this part of Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys on the next one. This has been Mr. Pills X saying good night, good morning, good day. Whatever time you guys are watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. All right, everyone. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoo, man. Just be careful. Oh, buddy. Well, it's all up to Makoto to get that information out of her laptop. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Latest.